All right, Pisces, let's get into a reading. Friendly reminder, guys, if you need anything, you can check out my website, sweetsoultarot.com, or you can check out the description. Patreon and channel members see these readings first. Patreon members also get bonus readings. I have a second tarot channel. Everything you need is down below. Thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed, shared. I appreciate your guys' support so much. So, <clears throat> this song is on repeat right now in my brain. Don't wake me up. I'm not dreaming. Please, please, please forgive me. I can already hear the comments going. I'm so tired of this person. I don't want to hear about this person. Then get off the video. Okay? If you do not want to hear this reading, get off the video. Somebody's wanting your forgiveness. I feel like there is something here where when they come in, you're going to recognize that maybe this is something you wanted before. Maybe you wanted this person to come crawling back. Maybe you wanted this person to <clears throat> see you, want you, value you. For each of you, it's different. Rejecting you is protecting myself. I was being selfish. I try to run from this connection. My soul craves you. What I wanted to say is my soul is craving you. <clears throat> my pride and my ego got hurt. I needed and wanted revenge. I wanted you to hurt. So you could have hurt this person's pride and ego. This could have been them feeling rejected, them feeling like you wouldn't do what they wanted you to. This could be anything. Sometimes what we say is not how the person interprets it. Okay, hold on. I'm hearing a Taylor Swift song. <clears throat> when you said you needed space, what? Then you, then you turn around and you say, baby. Okay. This person could have been hot and cold, back and forth. And it could have been <clears throat> because, you know, maybe there were things that you said to them and how you said it, they took it and they interpreted it and, it, and interpreted it, interpreted, interpreted it in a way, oh my goodness, <clears throat> that was incorrect. Warning. So this person is coming in with red flags. But you can you feel like you can be vulnerable with this person. Twin flame's been coming up a lot. It doesn't have to be a twin flame dynamic, but it is some sense of a divine counterpart. This person's been going through some sense of an awakening. Awakening to this chemistry, the passion. <clears throat> this person's missing you. They're wanting your forgiveness. They're wanting your forgiveness around some sense of rejection recognizing that they've been trying to run from you, but they actually don't want to be away from you. Like, how crazy is that? That they want you more than anything, but they push you away more than anything. But they are coming in with red flags. And the red flag could be that when this person's pride or ego gets hurt, it then turns into a game. It then turns into, oh, you want to make me feel like I'm just an option? Well, I'm going to make you feel like you're just an option. It could be a little bit of a tit for tat. <clears throat> but this person is feeling left out and they're wanting some sort of new beginning. They're wanting truth. They're wanting clarity. They're wanting a new beginning. <clears throat> okay. What are they feeling? Feeling like they want to come in and be vulnerable with you. Feeling like they need to make a choice when it comes to do with a path. This person is wanting to come in and win you at all costs. But what does that look like? It has a lot of passion. That could be something that they're very set on, guarded on. No, I need the passion. This could be someone who is going to have a hard time being patient with you if you don't want to be intimate with them or be with them in that way. And it could have to do with maybe you not trusting it, you wanting to take it slow. 
but just be aware that another red flag could be that when this person approaches you, they're gonna wanna connect with you in that form, in that fashion, and they could have a little bit of defensiveness that's gonna come out. Because in their mind, you allowing them to be with you in that way just connects them to you even more. Connects them to you even more. <coughs> what is the defensiveness here, the guard? Yeah, so they're going to be defensive, though, when it has to do with, like, love and major change and transformation. So, if there's conversations about getting married, sharing a home, things like that, there is going to be a wall or a defense, defensiveness that's going to come up. So, they want you to forgive them because they have rejected you. They have tried to run from you, but they crave you. You can be open and vulnerable with this person. And I feel like they know that they can be the same with you, but they do still have red flags. The red flags is that they are not completely ready for this. I've dreamed this. I remember dreaming this moment. And they're still going to come in where it's like, I want to win you at all costs. I want to be with you. I don't want anyone else to have your attention. I think I've done a reading like this before. But they're still going to be guarded or defensive around the thought and the conversation of major changes. Okay? <clears throat> Wanting to start over. I can't let you go. I need you back in my life. <clears throat> Some of you have made a decision that you don't want this person back in your life. But they're wanting a reunion. What does that reunion look like for them? God, this person's missing you so much. It looks like them not giving up. It looks like them making a final decision to say, I need you in my life. <laughs> like, I know it seems like I'm playing games. I know it seems like I want to hurt you and I don't care about you, but I need you in my life. They're wanting some sense of new beginning. They're wanting investments, but they're being practical. They're being logical. They could even be spying or trying to get some sort of inquisitive energy about how they can make this work but not regret it. And it's funny because they still have a lot of fear even approaching you. And when it comes to them being emotionally vulnerable, they don't want to do that. So let's be aware. Let's be aware that if this is your twin flame reading, this person's missing you deeply. They are going to reach out to you and say, hey, I don't know where you think you're going, but I can't do this. Like, I need you back in my life. They don't want to have regrets around this dynamic. They do feel like there's something here. They know that they met they met you for a reason. And again, this doesn't have to be a twin flame reading. This could be a soulmate. This could just be something where it's like, I don't understand. I can't put my finger on it. So I'm listening to this reading, trying to get clarity. Well, here's the clarity. You both feel something. There's something here that you both feel. And neither one of you want to live without the other. They want to be a team player. They want to collaborate. When you text them, they want to answer. And they want to be able to text you and you answer. The problem is, though, is that this person is terrified when it comes to giving and being vulnerable and putting their heart on the line. And it's something that they have the tendency that when they get too close to that, they start sneaking away or they find themselves sabotaging. And this person wants a new beginning because they don't want to have regrets. But if you're not cautious, they're going to come in and there's going to be a passionate new beginning. There's going to be creating with one another. There's going to be a lot of spark, a lot of fun, a lot of passion. But again, if you're not cautious, you're going to recognize or see that even when it comes to, you know, getting love and giving love and having a new emotional beginning with one another, this person is still like, uh -uh, no, 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 let's not talk about emotions. I think... Emotions makes this person uncomfortable. Emotions make makes this person uncomfortable. This person gets very uncomfortable talking about their emotions, acknowledging their emotions. What are they? So they're going to make a final decision. <clears throat> and this could be an energy of knock, knock, knock. I'm coming back. I'm coming. I saw you back. It's why you started. And it's because it's time. So they're going to communicate with you. They're going to want to talk about some sense of breadcrumbing in the past. There has been breadcrumbing in the past. There could have been a lesson around that. Six months, six years, six weeks. Mm, not a drink. So they're going to want to talk about some sense of breadcrumbing that took place. <clears throat> they felt very vulnerable around you, which then resulted in them breadcrumbing you. 
and it made the situation worse. And that does tend to happen when we're feeling a way that we don't want to feel, when we're feeling vulnerable, when we're feeling seen, when we're feeling called out and we're feeling really uncomfortable, we do have the tendency to act or react in a way that we might not want to or that could just be secondhand nature for us. And I do think that this person could have had a lesson in the fact that how they showed up is a result because they felt so vulnerable. They felt vulnerable when they didn't hear things come out of your mouth that they wanted or they needed to hear. So then their ego would come in and go, well, you know, they didn't say that because they don't care about you. Instead of their ego saying, well, you know, they didn't say that because they ain't a mind reader. Their ego was like, they didn't say it because they don't care. Nobody cares about you. So you got to hurt their feelings. It was a very unhealthy side of them come out. And again, if you're not cautious, you might see that side of them. And that could be a, a red flag is that then when this person gets hurt, they're going to hurt you. When this person isn't getting their way, you're not going to get your way. I do think that this, this could be someone who's an only child, or this could be someone who is the last child in the family. I'm getting major tantrum vibes. I'm getting major, um, you know, like when you're the last kid in the family, let's say you grow up with three or four siblings. If you're the last sibling, the parents some parents have the tendency to be like, don't pick on the baby. Don't pick on the baby. That's the baby. That's the baby of the family. Don't be mean to the baby. Give the baby that. I'm getting that. You could be attached to someone who is, again, either an only child or a baby of a family. And they have the tendency that when they don't get their way, when they feel challenged, it brings a side of them out that's really hard to deal with. And I don't know if they've conquered that side of them yet. Give me more on that. Have they conquered that side of them yet? The lovers. So they're going to have to make a choice. They're going to have to make a choice from love. Can we get to a place of peace? They're in a self-imposed prison. So here's the thing. They see you as their ultimate partner. They feel like there's fairness here. They feel like there's justice here. They feel like there's growth here. But they could try to slow walk this if you allow them. So just be aware. You know, make choices from a place of love. But if this person does come in and think they can be kind of hot to try, oh, but I love you and I told you that I love you. So that should just kind of put give you a pacifier for six years, you think? This person's going to get a very rude awakening. I do see that if you're not careful, you might find yourself in discontentment. When it comes to this person's effort, <clears throat> it could come very abruptly that this person wants to come towards you, approach you, talk to you. This person might come out of nowhere and it might be like, hell yeah, we're going in the right direction. Be cautious though of giving this person everything because you might find that they're gonna come in and be like, you know, I miss you. I wanna give in the effort, I wanna do it all. And I do think that this person has genuine feelings, but I also think that if you're not careful, you're going to get to a place where you're like, this is your effort. This is your all. This is what we're working with. This is trash. You're going to get very discontent and maybe even kind of bored with what they're offering. And then you're going to just look at it as like, you know what? Not you pulled my butt back in. Like, I can't even get out of this loop. As soon as I think I'm over it, you pulled me back in. Here we are. I've changed my perspective. I'm seeing it clear as day. This is toxic as hell for me. And then it's going to be a lot harder for this person to heal it with you again if they ever want that. I don't want to say be extremely cautious with this person. But again, there's red flags here. And if this person can't make choices from a place of love. And, and love doesn't always think about their self. True love does not always think about their self. They think about other parties. If this person can't make sure that they are genuinely loving you and, and thinking about you when they make choices that involve you, this could become very chaotic very quickly. And I do think that there are going to be glimmers into what your future could look like if this person doesn't work on their self, on that part of their self. So again, if this person is the kind of person that makes choices from love, until they feel betrayed or until their pride or their ego gets in the way, is that love? And you need to ask yourself, is that part of this person been put to rest 
or you might, are you going to deal with that side of this person in the far future? Because this person's got to leave that part of them behind. And if they haven't fully conquered that or even seen it yet, you might put yourself in a situation or in this dynamic where you're playing with the devil again. It's like you literally just quit playing with the devil and you're inviting them right back in. So be aware of that. There is a deep, deep connection here. We need to acknowledge that. But again, I'm seeing that if something transpires, it's like this is their last shot. Make it or then break it. Come in and show up or show out. If they mess this up, there will never be another, another possibility. You're going to be so discontent that you're never going to allow this person back. Very interesting. Okay. So... Why are they returning? <clears throat> There's petty arguments, conflict, or disagreements around some sense of new beginning or stability. Why? Okay, they're returning because you're the empress. So they're returning because they know that they're going to miss out on you. They know that you are growth for them. And if they don't take this opportunity, there might not be an opportunity in the, fu in the future. But I don't think that this person knows that if they come in prematurely and they don't truly, truly conquer the sides of them that are going to make you, there's going to be sides of this person that you're going to fall out of love with if they're not careful. And it has to do with their very conditional love. They're a very prideful person. And that's not always bad. But when you're very prideful with your children and your spouse, it can make your life and your home life very difficult. But it's your own doing. And I think this person's recognizing that there's growth here. There's a new beginning. There's so much that, pe that can be grown here. Because not only are you willing, but you're able and you're ready. And this person doesn't like being in conflict with you. They don't like ignoring it. They don't like acting like they can't see that this is very uncomfortable. But again, if this person's not aware enough to recognize that they have the tendency to play tit for tat, it's going to ruin this as quick as it starts. And then they will never, ever, 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 ever get another chance. Ever. Ever. And they know now they have to take action. But again, there's still a part of them that is still a little mm, holding back. A little guarded. Give me more for action they're going to take to you. They're going to try to get out of a defeated energy. They're going to open up with some sense of communication. This could be an apology or this could be an emotional sign of interest. I miss you. I care for you. I love you. You don't know how lonely life gets without you. Wanting to have the strength and the courage, though. They want things to be fair. They want to manifest a new world, a new life. They want to be able to put things to... Com it's like this person really does mean well. So let me say that. Because I have been giving this person a hard time. Mainly because I want you to see that this is not all sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns. I don't sell fantasies here. I'm selling you reality. Because you need to recognize that there are going to be parts of this person that you're going to have to grow. You're going to have to grow through those seasons with them if you want to. And it's going to be hard. And it's going to be a red flag. If you want to do it, you can. This person wants to have the strength and the courage, though, to come in and make things fair. They're going to take a leap towards you. They see it as a risk, but they're going to do it. I love that juggling if maybe you're going to answer if you even want to collaborate feeling a little confused there could be even some sense of an illusion or illusions that they're just kind of going on in their head so this person's missing you a lot they're missing you deeply when they reach out they want to know if you're going to answer this person could be feeding themselves illusions around the fact that you know, you're up to this or you're doing that or whatever that looks like. But they are feeling out in the cold when it comes to a deep love. 
because of a decision they made. And the decision could have been around their values, their morals, or their beliefs, but it's not feeling fulfilling. They could have even been watching you in the meantime or keeping tabs on you. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. Okay, let's get some of this. Just because it did say that this is a divine connection. Give me a few. I said view. Somebody could have a house, a home, an apartment with a view. Somebody could be taking a vacation. You could be taking a vacation with this person or going somewhere that's going to have a view. What do I mean by view? It could just be a pretty lake. It could just, it could be a mountain. It could be the ocean. It could be something that you're like, oh, this is cool. This person could be trying to communicate with you at night. So if you do wake up a lot, exhausted, even though you slept really well, don't be surprised because I do feel like this person's desiring you a lot. There's like a lot going on externally to you that is draining you energetically. But there's a reason it's all going down, honey. Morse code. Somebody could be learning Morse code. I don't know. That was interesting. Lover's card. Making a decision. This person could have got some sense of freedom from something that was controlling them. This could have been a karmic partner, family, friends, work, obligations. They could have been very conflicted. It could have also resulted in them having mood swings, trust issues, or some sense of pattern that did not serve them. They went in a new direction, though. So this person could have left that behind, quit. This person could have finally told their family, you know what? I don't give two craps what we share. Leave me alone. This person could have definitely got a backbone. And now this person is being fueled by passion, lust, attraction. They could be feeling really angry that there's some sense of conflict here. There could be a trauma bond aspect of this dynamic where you guys are kind of stuck in some sense of a pattern. In order for a shift to happen, you guys are going to have to get past the conflict. And again, the conflict is where I don't feel safe with you and you don't feel safe with me. The only time that we have conflict in a dynamic is if we don't trust the other person or we don't feel safe. It's that simple. You guys have got to get on the same page. You've got to realize that you are a team. I'm not against you. You're not against me. We are a team. I got you. Okay. So that could, if you resonate with you feeling like, okay, this might be a trauma bond, Something could shift because you guys could be kind of stuck in a pattern right now. And it's like you guys have got to kind of, you, you got to transcend. But you're going to have to do it together. You guys can even go through some sense of an awakening together. I don't think it's going to be like a spiritual awakening. Maybe it's an up-leveling. But for some of you, that's also going to take place. But again... This person's got red flags, and until they feel safe, until they feel valued, until they really feel like you've got them 160%, I do think that there are going to be sides of them that come out that you're not going to appreciate, and that could be a little bit of lack of effort. That could be them saying one thing, them doing something different, them saying that you're the best thing that they've ever had, but they still won't commit, whatever that looks like. I do think you guys are going to be able to get through it if you want to, but I do think it's going to be hard. At the end of the day, you have to decide. When this person reaches out, do you want to talk to them? Because they deeply, deeply, deeply miss you, and they want to confess this to you. They feel like they need to confess this to you. I'm sorry. I rejected you. I was trying to protect myself. I could not be putting myself in a situation where you were going to hurt my feelings because you're amazing. Yes, you are. Whatever that looks like. But now they feel like they're craving the energy that you guys have with one another. They feel like it's a soulmate energy. They feel like there's a very balanced energy. When it's like, when you can feel when they need to be lifted up. You can feel when they need someone to be maybe a cheerleader for them. Maybe you can feel when they need that very strong masculine energy, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. It's like you could always feel, you could always intuitively know what this person needed from you, what they expected from you. 
And that's the reason they're making the decision to come back is because, again, they're, they're feeling a craving to talk to you, to be near you, to be around you. And wanting to win you at all costs, okay? Wanting to know that you are theirs. This person's very territorial over you. <laughs> very territorial over you. Like, it isn't even, it, in their mind, it isn't really even jealousy. Like, but you're mine. <laughs> what do you mean? At least that's what they want. But you're mine. I don't have to get jealous because you're mine. I'm going to win this. They're wanting you to allow yourself to be open with this person and let them know where you stand, what you want, what you expect, but also recognize that some conversations that have to do with major changes in love can make this person uncomfortable. It can make them shut down. They might not have a conversation with you. Let's say it's something as simple as we're drinking, we're chilling, we're having fun. You bring up, yeah, but I want to be in love. Don't be surprised if this person changes the conversation. They'd be like, oh, have you seen the TV? Like, now, you know we ain't talking about that TV right now. But this person might do that because they still don't feel like they're maybe 160% ready to throw themselves into something. Although, it's like, why did the universe prematurely give me everything I wanted when I wasn't ready? The universe doesn't always give us what we want when we're ready. It gives us what we want when we need it, when it's time. And I do think that you've really helped this person change and transform but again, there's some stuff that still needs to be conquered, dealt with, overcome. And you might have to fight with this person along the way. So, fair warning. Okay, we're going to leave this here. Have a blessed day.